Roblox events come in all different shapes and sizes, some shining brighter than <coughs> others. Today we're going to take a look at the brightest event of each year and picking one event that's the best of the year. Every year I celebrate the new year by doing some sort of rewind or look back at the year, but this year things will be a little different. Rather than taking a look at just this year, I want to take a look at all the years where Roblox events happened, from 2021 to 2007, and pick out the best event in each of those years. Now first off, this is no easy task. While I've been event hunting for a while, I have barely scratched the surface of events, only starting in late 2017. Because of this, I made a community poll asking for the event of the year for each year. Only the year 2021 was required in this form, and the results should be fairly accurate. But I don't think that's enough. I also invited an old Roblox reviewer who was in the first episode of the Roblox show. That's right, Zome will be helping me with this video. Hey there, my name is Zom, and I used to be an event reviewer. I've reviewed almost every single event between the years 2017 and 2020, and I only stopped reviewing events when Roblox effectively plopped my entire career out of existence by removing events altogether. Zom and I will pick the 3 to 5 events that got the most community votes from each year, and then take a look at each of them. Me or Zom will give our short thoughts on each event, and then at the end, pick the event that was the best that year. After that, I will also show the community votes, since, you know, it's not like I put that form for no reason. Alright, enough boring talking. Let's start taking a look at the years, starting with 20... 21. We should obviously start with the current year. Hopefully current year, anyway. 2021 was an extremely dry year for events. Despite the wiki showing a whole bunch of events, I have decided not to include any events that are concerts, contests, events with no prizes, or anything similar. Basically, if it's an event where there's no prizes or you get a prize by joining the game and or buying something off the catalog, then I don't count it as an event. Oh yeah, Holiday 2021 won't be included in this section because it came out basically on the end of the form, but to summarize, well made but a lot of room for potential that wasn't used because Roblox keeps rushing event creators. The only real competitors for 2021 are the 8th Annual Bloxy Awards and Metaverse Champions. Yeah, just two nominees. So let's take a look at them. The 8th Annual Bloxies is a phenomenal event that impressed me. The building of the lobby is amazing, the Bloxy show was the best show I've watched and the designs of the prizes were superb, but this event does have some holes that makes this event feel sort of empty. The objectives for the prizes were really easy and, and really uninspired. The only real objective was the scavenger hunt quest, and that's it. It kills the event for me, but surely it's better than Metaverse Champions. Ah yes, Metaverse Champions. If you want to know my in-depth thoughts about this entire event, you can watch my one hour long review on it, but I'll summarize it for this video. In my opinion, Metaverse Champions was a weirdly unbalanced competitive event that replaced egg hunts, which set the standards for its space high. This event just felt like a stretched out egg hunt without the eggs, and to be honest, looking back at it, I kind of enjoyed this event. Sure, it's bad, I'm not saying it's a good event, but honestly it gave me something to do, it gave me good memories, and I had a fun time making the review for Metaverse Champions. Which is why my choice for event of the year 2021 will be Metaverse Champions. Yes, I know, I know, you can put down your pitchforks. I don't know, the Bloxies felt way too small to compete with such a massive event like Metaverse, so I decided to pick it. It also seems that the community agrees, since 55.4% of the voters picked Metaverse Champions. The Bloxies and Metaverse Champions were actually tied for a while, until 30 to 40 responses in, where Metaverse took the lead. There are also the two people who voted for Lubu Mystery Box Hunt and the Stranger Things event, which are weird choices, but okay. Now it's time to move on to 2020. 2020 was another dry year for events, since this year was the aftermath of Live Ops. This year also gave birth to the crappy concerts literally no one likes or plays, so that's not cool. Anyways, the nominees for this year are the 7th Annual Bloxy Awards, Egghunt 2020 Agents of Egg, RB Battle Season 2, and Ready Player 2. The 7th Annual Bloxies were... okay. This was the first Bloxy show that I watched, and it's actually really good and I enjoyed the show. It's just that this isn't really an event. The only prize I bought from the Bloxies was the Galaxy Scarf because I thought it looked cool, but other than that, there were no prizes or objectives, so this event was a bit meh. Oh gosh, Econ 2020. Well, again, I have already made a review about Econ 2020 that doesn't really hold up, but you know, still gets the point across. 
The main issue with this event was the fact that there was no custom game made for the event, which was really disappointing, since the devs did a little trolling and made an actually good looking map for a troll. It really disappoints me that the Roblox devs put no effort into actual events, but when they make an unfunny troll, they actually try. This event was just an unorganized and forgettable mess. It doesn't help that they didn't even follow the theme of the egg hunt. This is a sad ending for egg hunts, and I would have preferred if it ended in 2018 or 2019 instead. But on the other hand, RP Battle Season 2 was remarkable. For this event, they really didn't need to put in any effort and they could have just made it like last year, but no, they went out of their way to make fun objectives in an awesome final fight. I gave this event a bad light in my review because of my saltiness, but looking back, this was an amazing event and I wish more events were like this. But Ready Player 2 on the other hand, wasn't as good. I mean, it was pretty average I guess, but it just felt really bland and uninspired. This was definitely Roblox trying to be way too safe because of Ready Player One, but man, this event is so forgettable. I guess I can see the, that the prizes look good, but I, I wish they did more with this event, like they did with Ready Player One. So, what is the event of the year of 2020? Well, in my honest opinion, that would be RB Battle Season 2. This event really impressed me and was the best Roblox event in modern times. I hope that the upcoming RB Battle Season 3 will be just as good, because I am really getting those nostalgia tingles from this event. The community also voted for RB Battle Season 2, with it having 43.8% of the votes, but Echo 2020 was not too far behind, only having 8 votes less than RB Battles. Ready Player 2 and the Bloxies got 11 and 5 votes respectively, which is a much higher number than I anticipated. And then there's the Wonder Woman event that got zero votes, like it should have. Despite being the year during which Roblox announced the end of events, 2019 actually had a couple events that weren't horrible. In my honest opinion, this year was the first year where events on Roblox started going downhill. There were way fewer events compared to previous years, the events themselves weren't even close as being as good as in, in comparison, and so on and so forth. Hi, so Zoom forgot to say the nominees for this year and every year he covered actually, so I'm gonna say them. And the nominees for 2019 are the Powers event, the 6th annual Bloxy Awards, Pizza Party, and Econ 2019 Scrambled in Time. Now, I wouldn't say that the events this year were bad per se, but looking at the list of events that happened in 2019, it kind of looks like a Watch Mojo list of the top 6 most mediocre Roblox events, and it is mostly due to two big reasons. The first one being that this year was the first year where annual events weren't held properly. There was no Hallow's Eve, there was no Winter Games or Summer Games, and the Egg Hunt had some major changes happen to it, such as the fact that it was spread across multiple games instead of one custom made one. Now, I am gonna play the devil's advocate and admit that the event itself wasn't actually that bad, compared to Egg 2020, which is, in my opinion, it was quite frankly horrible. But it really just has a couple big shoes to fill in. Sure, it could have taken place in one singular custom game, it could have been spread across smaller mono games, and the main game could have actually been good, but I think that the few pros it actually had was overshadowed by the fact that it didn't live up to the expectations left from Egg 2018 which in my opinion, and many other people's opinions, was the best of all time. The other big reason is that the sponsored events, which had previously been monthly, now only appeared once every other month, and when they actually did appear, they were mediocre at best. I personally think that the 6th annual Bloxy Awards was the best event held during this year, as that's the one I had most fun playing. The community did not agree however. Sure, it was up there, but it only received 20.7% of the votes. And instead, it seemed like the most amount of people preferred the 2019 Egg Hunt, which received over half the total votes, coming in at 58.6%. In my opinion, of all the events on the list, it does make sense that the majority of the people would answer that the Egg Hunt was their favorite event, but I just personally can't see it as that, as the objectives felt more like chores to me than fun tasks. Pizza Party, Powers, and the two creator challenges are some of the most forgettable events ever. Sure, they weren't horrible, but neither of them were actually any good. And therefore, I genuinely can't remember a thing about them, despite having made full-length reviews about all of them except for one of the created challenges. It seems that the community agrees with me on this one, as they were the events that received the least amount of votes of the ones that were held this particular year. Despite me personally thinking it wasn't worth the title, and the bar for this year being so insanely low, 
The event of the year for 2019 has to be an Egg on 2019 scramble in time. Thanks to the fact that it seems to be the event that the majority of the players enjoy the most. Do keep in mind, however, that just because I gave this title doesn't mean that it's on the same level as other events of the year, such as 2018. Like I said, I really had an extremely low bar. Twenty eighteen was one of the most filled years in terms of Roblox events. There were a lot of events this year and a lot of fierce competition, so let's take a look at the nominees. And they are Kids Choice Awards twenty eighteen, Ready Player One, Egghunt twenty eighteen The Great Yolk Tales, and Hallows Eve twenty eighteen. The Kids Choice Awards was fine, I guess. It was an average Roblox event that was a bit shorter in length compared to a typical event, since you could complete it in less than an hour, give or take. The prizes look pretty good for sponsored items, and there's nothing partic particularly bad about the event, it's just a bit too short and a bit too small to compete with any of the events I'll be discussing. Ready Player One is actually an event I like. Yeah, cry about it. Ready Player One was extremely fun for me. Of course, it was a bit rough and it did have its issues. Like the jailbreak objective being extremely long before it was nerfed to be reasonable, phantom forces requiring you to solve a puzzle while little babies camped on you near the damned vending machines, Hexaria having the worst Morse code puzzle imaginable, and the Egghunt 2018 section being extremely buggy and unbalanced in difficulty. Despite all of that, I had fun! Wow. It was a really fun journey, and it was really rewarding to receive a silver crown for putting in the extra effort. Now I'm talking about this event from the perspective of a player, and I can't really say all my thoughts and look at all the issues and the unfairness of this event in just this one small section, but to summarize, it was pretty fun, but definitely had some bad flaws. But on the other hand, Egg Hunt 2018 The Great Yolk Tales is one of the best Roblox events of all time, and it's easy to tell why. From the amazing buildings, superb soundtrack, a crap ton of content and many other things, Egg Hunt 2018 is widely regarded as the best egg hunt AND event of all time. One thing that always cheesed me off was the egg designs, since I'd say half of them were… ugly. But other than that, amazing egg hunt that absolutely dominated the votes. Hallow's Eve 2018 just feels like wasted potential in my opinion. Like, you have this beautiful hub with actual things to do, like go on rides, explore the map, and… Okay, still, you can use this area for a lot of things, and what is it used for? Going through doors to get a prize. 70% of the games didn't even have an objective, which makes no sense to me. And the worst part is, some of the actually really good games that, that definitely could have made fun and unique objectives got disrespected and got nothing. At least we the facility got one of the best event prizes, but come on, man. Other than that, the prizes were good, but the event itself was meh. But I think the obvious choice for event of the year tw of 2018 would be Egg Hunt 2018. I will say, Ready Player One was definitely a second, that's for sure. This second is just too good to not give event of the year, so I think the community agrees that it deserves the spot. And speaking of the community, 69.6% .6 of them agree that Egg Hunt 2018 is the best event of 2018, with a 53.5% lead on the second place, which is Ready Player One. And then there are the minorities that are Hallow's Eve 2018 and Kids' Choice Awards, which got two votes each. Some events got one vote as well, but that's about it really. So I'm going to pass the mic over to Zome for him to review 2017. In my opinion, 2017 was the best year for events. I know most people probably won't agree with me on this one, and I know I might be biased because it was at this time that I was the most invested in events in general, but I just loved playing events this year. There really wasn't a single one that was actually bad. Sure, some of them were just simple sponsored events, but yet they all actually delivered what was expected of them. They were quick doable and enjoyable objectives that rewarded you with great looking items. So what that means is that we have some intense competition on our hands, but between who? The nominees for 2017 are Egg Hunt 2017 The Lost Eggs, Heroes 2017, Imagination 2017, Hell's Eve 2017, and The Coco Event. 2017 was actually the year most of my favorite events of all time happened. For example, Hallow's Eve 2017 was in my opinion the best Hallow's Eve event of all time. It had a custom game sponsored by Nerf, made by the same devs that worked on Dark and More, with massive amounts of effort put into it. The prices were some of the coolest looking items I have ever seen in events that aren't egg hunts. 
The objectives were unbelievably fun to complete and the building was gorgeous. The egg hunt was also amazing. It was, in my personal opinion, the second best one of all time, as it's just barely under the 2018 one. EBR, the group behind the hunt, did an amazing job and their hard work really shows in the event itself as it was one of the most memorable, fun and amazing events I have ever played. One of the most underrated events from 2017 was, in my opinion, the Roblox Holiday 2017 event, during which they included a game called Mountaineers, which was custom made for the event. I know it was very buggy at launch, but the fact that they actually bothered making so many custom games for events is actually really cool to me. The community seems to agree with me when it comes to which events were the best, as 60.8% voted for Egg on 2017 as the best event of the year, while the remaining votes were fairly evenly distributed among the last competitors, apart from Hallow's Eve, which received 9.8% of the votes. I think it's pretty obvious which event I think is the best one of 2017. Smurfs, The Lost Village. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's Egg on 2017, The Lost Eggs. Wow, what a surprise. Anyway, I do personally believe that Hallow's Eve 2017 should come in at a close second, as it was also an amazing event. Ah, good old 2016. It's still hard for me to grasp the idea of 2016 being nearly 6 years ago. Now, believe it or not, but this year was actually also great for events. Not only were the events very frequent, with an average at 1.4 events per month, but it also had several cool events such as the Moana event, Egg on 2016, and Hallow's Eve 2016, which, believe it or not, was probably one of my most favorite events of all time. So, you can probably guess the nominees for 2016, and they are Econ 2016 Excellent Adventure, Voltron Legendary Defender, Blocktober 2016, Hallow's Eve 2016 Trick or Treat Countdown, and the Moana event. If we take a look at the community votes, we can see that the majority voted for the Egg Hunt, a big minority voted for either one of the two Halloween events, and the rest of the votes were fairly evenly distributed among the other events. Personally, this wasn't surprising to me at all. Even though Egg Hunt 2016 received a lot of criticism during the time it happened, it was actually a very good event in hindsight. And despite most of the 2016 events being good events, they weren't outstandingly good. The Egg Hunt, on the other hand, was definitely among the top events of all time, even though it doesn't rank super high when compared to other Egg Hunts. The Hunt was actually the first Egg Hunt I played, and thus, I might be biased. But I do really think that it was an amazing event in comparison to modern day egg hunts. The one event I thought would receive more votes was the Moana event. If you ignore Easter events, the Moana event is most certainly among my top ones of all time. They made an entire custom game, with a story, fun objectives and so much more for a sponsored event. It was just amazing. If I had to pick an event of the year, I'd probably go with Egg on 2016, an excellent adventure as it was amazing in my opinion, and it was the event that received the most amount of votes in the poll. Even though I personally prefer Halloween 2016 and the Countdown event that happened before it over the Egg Hunt, I can see why most people would like it the other way around, so that's why the Egg Hunt 2016's event of the year. Twenty fifteen, I did not play any events this year. Well. I guess that's not entirely true, as I did get a couple of gifts from the Giftsplosion, but most of them were by accident anyway, so it doesn't really count. 2015 was the year when Roblox really started to go in all in when it came to sponsored events, and it was also around this time that they started using the same format for all of them, i.e. having a couple of sponsored prices spread across three or more games. And I personally like these events, but I know that when they started coming out, they received a lot of criticism from people who used to do events from previous years that had more effort put into them, which however came with the cost of there being fewer events in general. And because of that, the number of events that can earn the event of the year title will only be going down from now on. But anyway, the nominees for this year are Winter Games 2015, Econ 2015, Blockstober slash Hallow's Eve 2015, and Give Splosion 2015, all events with 2015 in them. One of the most heavily critiqued events from 2015 was the Egg Hunt. This was the first time they spread an Egg Hunt across more than one game instead of having a custom made game specifically for the event. 
The event took place in Super Bomb Survival, Ripple Minigames and Twisted Murderer, which in my opinion are three great games. Important note is also that the eggs were really good looking. I personally believe the event didn't really deserve the hate it got. Anyway, this is the first year where the community was actually divided on which event was the best one. The egg hunt only received 30.3% of the votes, which is half of what it got in most other years. The gift explosion received 24.2% and came in at second place and was followed by the two summer games events. This one is actually a lot closer than the other years. I would personally give the event of the year title to the gift explosion, as while the Egg wasn't actually that bad, the gift explosion was a lot more fun according to the people I've asked that actually participated in it rather than getting items for free like I did. So 2014. At this point, I had been playing Roblox for a year. I knew little to no English, and I had no idea what events were. This means that you're going to have to take my opinion on these events with a grain of salt, as they're based on what I've heard, what I've read on the Roblox wiki, playing rebooted versions of the events, and what people who actually play the events have told me. This will be a common trend from now on, since neither me or Zone played really any events before 2014, but we tried our best to get a fair view of, of the event with reboots and other people's experiences. But anyway, the nominees for 2014 are Winter Games 2014, Econ 2014, Summer Games 2014, and Blocktober slash Hallows Eve 2014. First off, was this year good for events? Well, yeah. It had a total of 11 events throughout the year, which is actually a pretty good number. It had a couple memorable events, such as the Egon and the Hallows Eve event, which was called the Hallows Eve 2014 The Witching Hour Returns, it's actually one of the, those events I've only played rebooted versions of, but from what I can see, it's an amazing event. Now, I have actually made a full-length review of this game, and I don't intend to repeat everything I said there, but in summary, the event is a wave-based game where you have to protect a cauldron from various sorts of monsters, which is a concept that I quite simply love. It's just amazing. The egg was also really cool. Now, of course it received criticism here and there, like egg do, but it was mostly about bugs and the use of the new terrain feature. The event itself was awesome, as it had you going around collecting eggs on the same map but in 5 different time periods. It had a story, a final boss, which I admit could have been better, and so much more. It's just an overall pretty good event. When it comes to 2014 events, there are remarkably less votes. Probably due to the fact that most people voting hadn't played any of the events. Aegon won with 67.9% of the votes which is far away from the second place, which was the winner games, at 14.3%. The community really wasn't divided at all on this one, and I personally have to agree. Even though I think I personally would have chosen Hallows Eve, it really wasn't that popular of an event, and therefore I think Egg on 2014 Save the Eggverse deserves the title of the event of the year for 2014. Twenty thirteen. It was a year. Year of the Snake to be specific. The nominees for twenty thirteen are Nerf twenty thirteen, Egg Hunt twenty thirteen, Thanksgiving Turkey Hunt twenty thirteen, and Siege of Quebec. Yeah, Give Explosion isn't there since no one voted for it in the community forum, which I find extremely strange. Nerf twenty thirteen doesn't exist, I guess. I couldn't find any footage or archives of this event, and this will be a mostly common trend in the older years for most of the sponsored events. I mean, all I can say is the prizes look okay, but they don't look like they would fit any Roblox character besides the classic 1.0 avatar. Egg Hunt 2013 is a phenomenal Egg Hunt that really deserves to be called one of the best Egg Hunts of all time. The Egg Hunt has a lot of fun eggs to collect, and all of them look incredible. Some of my favorite egg objectives include the Extraterrestrial where you had to get someone else or yourself to touch a weird spider parasite thing. Then that parasite kills the character that touched the parasite and then the dead corpse drops the egg. There's also the egg of epic growth where you had to grab this egg from a tree and drop it in a waterfall. Then it grows to a humongous size and it turns into an epic duck? Yeah, I'm not gonna question that. I also like the deviled egg, although it seems to be broken in the rebooted version. The map looks amazing as well, but I'm starting to ramble, so let's just move on. The Thanksgiving turkey hunt definitely exists, alright? 
It's just there are no working reboots of this event, and so I can't really give my impression of the event, but I'll try. This event is honestly extremely disappointing compared to the previous events in 2013. The map looks extremely bland and boring, only having copy-pasted trees and this small shack. The game itself is kinda boring, the goal is to collect as many turkeys as possible in a 5 minute time span, but nah, it's nothing special. The only positive thing I can say about this event is that it has nice prizes, but yeah, nothing too exciting, even compared to 2011 and 2013. Ah yes, Siege of Quebec, the event that works! It seems that 2013 events haven't been archived properly since only Egg Hunt 2013 was archived well and the other events only have extremely buggy and bare bone versions. Basically, it's a tower defense game, but you are the defender. The game has a decent variety of weapons and defensive tools to use, and looks like a fun game to play, but sadly, it is extremely buggy and barely functional. It makes sense since the game was last updated 7 years ago, so that's sad. Oh yeah, the prizes. I really like them too. The holiday theme of them is conveyed well, and they look good in general. Wish I could play this event though. So what event gets event of the year in the year of the snake? If it wasn't obvious already, Egg Hunt 2013, although Siege of Quebec is definitely a close second. I think this choice needs no explanation. The community also agrees, with a whopping 69.2% of the voters voting for Egg Hunt 2013. The Thanksgiving turkey hunt came in second with 19.2% of the votes. Yeah, Egg Hunt really dominated the charts. Then Siege of Quebec got 2 votes and the Nerf event got 1 single vote, which equals to 3.8% of the votes. And then came 2012, the end of the world, or so we thought. The only thing that was the end of the world that year was the Three Stooges event. I will not elaborate. The nominees this time around are Egg Hunt 2012, Lego Hero Factory Breakout, and Gift Explosion 2012. Egg Hunt 2012 is, in my opinion, better than Egg Hunt 2013, and not just because Epic Rika said so. I really like Egg Hunt 2012's map, it's not too big but also not too small like the previous egg drops. The eggs look really good, with my favorites being Alex the Egg Rat, Egg Timer, Insanely Valuable Crystal Egg, Crossroads Sugar Egg, and the Azure Wrath Fabergé Egg. Actually, I like basically all the egg designs. They are simple but look good, unlike <coughs> most of Egg Hunt 2018's eggs. Overall, it's a fun and simple egg hunt, and I had a good time playing the rebooted version of it. I would highly recommend you try it out. LEGO Hero Factory Breakout looks like an actually really fun and cool event, but sadly there's not a single working version of the event game that I could find. The building on the map looked pretty good, and for 2012 standards, the scripting looked good enough as well. The prizes also look okay? They look a bit wonky and I'd never wear them, but hey, that's fine. Seems like a good event and I would love to play it, but oh well, what can I do? Gift Explosion 2012 was a weird gift explosion. There were no badger gifts, but the gift objectives we did get actually look pretty fun and look somewhat fair for an average Roblox user. Of course, there are the two final gifts, but I mean, hey, it isn't a gift explosion without some stupidly difficult objective literally no one can complete. The most iconic prizes from this gift explosion were the Commissioner, Candy Cane Antlers, Paper Money Hat, Profit Vision Goggles, and the Dual Illumina. So what event deserves event of the Econ 2012? It's a really good egg hunt, how could I not give it event of the year? The community also agrees, with Egg Hunt 2012 having 75% of the votes, or 18 votes. Lego Hero Factory Breakout and Gift Explosion 2012 both got 2 votes each, and the Forgotten Sponsored events got 1 vote each, somehow. Apart from the Three Stooges event, that got 0 votes. Hey babe, wake up. It's time to cover 2011. Wait, no babe, you can go back to sleep since this year got the least no, amount of votes on the form. Wait, but I don't have a girlfriend. The nominees for 2011 are Transformers Prime, Halloween Paintball 2011, and Gift Explosion 2011. Notice the lack of an egg hunt? Transformers Prime exists. There's no footage of it online and there are no places where you can actually play the game. So uh, I guess I can say the hats look ugly. Halloween Paintball 2011 is a Roblox event. Okay, but in all seriousness, this event is actually pretty cool. It's slightly different compared to your average Halloween Paintball event, since this time there are two side objectives. One requires you to find some crows on a map and kill this pterodactyl, and the other one requires you to climb up the border of the map. Pretty cool, prizes look cool, but a bit boring after 10 minutes of gameplay. Gift Explosion 2011 was not that bad actually. 
There were a couple gift objectives that I liked, like, like the generous gift of the rising sun and the badger 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 gift. The event is not too bad and is honestly a step up from what I'll be discussing in the 2009 and 2010 sections. The most recognizable prizes from this gift explosion were the shoulder helper bot, blue steel domino crown, and the mushroom mushroom. Hmm, I wonder what event of the year 2011 will be. It's Gift Explosion 2011! Wow, who would have thought? Yeah, not that much competition, honestly. The Halloween paintball event was getting a bit repetitive already, but Gift Explosion was starting to get spicy, so it was a really easy dub for Gift Explosion. The community, however, thinks that the Halloween paintball is better, with it having 52.6% of the votes, and I can see where they're coming from. Gift Explosion isn't too far behind, with 31.6% of the votes. The Transformer Prime in the Level Up event also got some votes, but nothing too crazy. By the way, 2011 only got 19 responses, which is the lowest amount of votes of, out of any year, even being lower than 2007 and 2009, which also didn't have egg hunts. Ah yes, good old 2010. It's the start, or well in this case, the end of the 2010's decade, so let's see what 2010 brought to the table in terms of events. The nominees for this year were Extravaganza 2010, Halloween Capture the Flag, Thanksgiving Turkey Hunt 2010, and Gift Explosion 2010. Extravaganza 2010 was actually... okay. It was a simple egg hunt, although it feels a bit too similar to the first Extravaganza. Plus, it was split into two parts for some reason, and you only got two days to do the first part. Imagine doing Egg Hunt 2016 in just two days. Overall, the eggs looked good, but some of the egg objectives, man. The radioactive egg was horrible to get, and even when you got it, there would be 10 more that spawned in a wall, and so you'd constantly be attacked by zombies. Or there's the eggs that float in the sky. Why? But yeah, not too bad, not too great, and not too inspired in my opinion. The Halloween Capture the Flag is something, alright? Basically, it's Capture the Flag, but there are two different teams, the Werewolves and the Vampires. The Werewolves had actually good attacks, a high jump, and a speed boost. The Vampires? A really crappy gun and the shitty stick that does barely anything. You might argue, well, the Vampires can go invisible, they had to balance it somehow. You can still see invisible pe people holding flags, so it's basically useless. So yeah, I don't like the balancing if I haven't made that clear. Although the prizes look good, so yeah, good job Roblox. I can't even say anything about the Thanksgiving Turkey Hunt 2010 since I couldn't find any footage of the event or find a reboot on Roblox. I guess this event is so bad and forgettable that no one was bothered enough to archive it. And Gift Explosion 2010. I'm just gonna say this completely honestly, the quest for these gifts seem extremely absurd and extremely unfair for an average Robloxian. Here's an example. Be an administrator. Is this some sort of sick joke? Although this gift explosion introduced badger gifts, where you had to get specific Roblox badges to obtain a gift. Personally, I really like this, since it offers some challenge to gift explosion and makes it not a random gamble like, like having a random gear before a specific date. Overall, pretty mech, however. The most iconic prizes from this event were Epic Face, Red Domino Crown, Roblox Veterans Medal, and the Dusikar. So which event from 2010 is the best? Well, tough choice honestly, but I'll have to say Extravaganza 2010. This year didn't really have any good events. I mean, maybe Thanksgiving Turkey Hunt 2010 is like the best Roblox event ever made, but like I don't even know what is in it or what it looks like. But yeah, this egg hunt pretty much automatically wins. With the community votes, Extravaganza barely beats the Thanksgiving Turkey Hunt by only a single vote. Halloween Capture the Flag got 13% of the votes, and Gift Explosion wasn't a fan favorite either, with only 8.7% of the votes. <music> 2009 was a fairly dry year for events. There were only 3 nominees this year, and there wasn't an egg hunt like 2011, so the votes this year will be interesting. The nominees for 2009 are Halloween Paintball, Halloween Treasure Hunt 2009, and Gift Explosion 2009. Halloween Paintball, despite being a short event, was fun to play through with friends. There were only two prizes you could get, this really cool looking paintball mask for being in the winning team, and a paintball trophy for being the MVP of a round. Pretty solid event overall, enjoyable experience, and nice prizes. What events should be, in my opinion? Halloween Treasure Hunt 2009 was fine, I guess. There were two prizes you could get, but the objectives felt a bit boring, honestly. 
Although this event did introduce the Sinister series with the very first Sinister hat, Sinister P, so I will give it that. The objectives were fine or whatever, the prizes looked good, moving on. Gift Explosion 2009, while I didn't play it, it looks like a really unfun event. It seems that a good majority of the gifts were ruled by random chance or absurd tasks that required way too much dedication. Like who has all 11 elf hats on Roblox? I can't even name more than two. Although one thing I will give to this event, the prizes looked really good, both the gifts and what came out of them. The most interesting hats from this event were the perfectly legitimate business hat, big bag of ticks plus bomb equals lol, and Santa for all seasons. Yeah, I told you it's a dry year, I didn't even have much to talk about. I will give Halloween Paintball event of the year for this one, as Gift Splosion doesn't sound that fun from the objectives, and the Halloween treasure hunt was mediocre to me at best. Although the community disagrees, since 63.6% .6 of people think Gift Explosion was the best event this year, and the Halloween Paintball and Treasure Hunt events both had 4 votes each, or 18.2% each. <music> 2008, the year where the first egg hunt happened. That's all I have to say. The nominees for event of the year this time around are Extravaganza 2008, Halloween Treasure Hunt 2008, Rotris, and Gift Explosion 2008. Extravaganza 2008 is an interesting event. It's the first ever egg hunt made on Roblox, and for a first egg hunt, it's pretty good. I mean, obviously it doesn't hold up to, to today's standards, but honestly, it's not even that bad. The egg objectives were creative, the egg designs were superb. The only two eggs I didn't enjoy getting were the bombastic egg of Annihilation and the legendary egg of Gigax, because they both have annoying objectives that require the patience that I don't have. Halloween Treasure Hunt 2008 was weird. Also more commonly known as Yorick's Resting Place, this felt like a mech event compared to Extravaganza and even Gift Explosion 2007, which I'll talk about later. Basically, you had to answer these riddles by writing them in chat, and after a while you'll get to the place where the riddling skull resides. I do like the little Your Princess is in another castle gag though. It almost makes me forget that Roblox is a greedy company that can't be bothered to fix their servers and basic issues that will virtually cost them no money. Rotris was probably one of the most advanced events back in 2008. Like, how the hell did they manage to recreate Tetris in Roblox in 2008? Overall, pretty fun event, I like it. This event also awarded a hat from Extravaganza, the Blue Steel Egg of Genius. And finally, Gift Explosion 2008. This year around, the objectives are slightly less interesting. Like, you have to get KO'd by Telamon for one gift, or use the trade currency. It was an okay event, but isn't anything too special. The most interesting prizes from this Gift Explosion were the Tick Explosion, Golden Top Hat of Bling Bling, and the Ice Coal of Nevermore. So which event wins event of the year? Well, I'll give this one to the Extravaganza event. It was a pioneer to the best genre of Roblox events, and was just a fun experience overall. But what does the community think? Well, the votes are split between Extravaganza and the Halloween Treasure Hunt, with both of them having 10 votes respectively. Then Rotris came in third with 16% of the votes, and then Gives Explosion in last with only a single vote. And now for the first year of Roblox events, 2007. I really don't know what to say, I'm extremely tired and I literally know nothing about these events, so uh... The nominees for 2007 are The Domino Rally Building Contest, Mike's Paintball Tournament, Halloween Treasure Hunt 2007, and Gift Explosion 2007. The Domino Rally Building Contest was a contest hosted by Shedletsky. Basically, you had to build a Domino Rally, unsurprisingly. This was a pretty interesting event, since this was the event that gave the Domino Crown Prize, which is now one of the most iconic hats in Roblox. I guess it was a fine event, but the Domino Rallies I tried felt unsatisfying, so that's pretty cringe. Mike's Paintball Tournament was a really fun event to play, at least for me. The reboot of Mike's Paintball Tournament is extremely broken, but, you know, still funny to play with friends. You're dead, fam. You're dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, I just got full log outside the map. Bro, I'm going to the sky, I'm going to the moon. Goodbye, guys. Pretty decent event, especially for the time. I also like the custom visors they made for each of the teams in the tournament. That's pretty cute, bro. Halloween Treasure Hunt 2007 was an interesting event. 
Only Builders Club members could participate in this event, and you could only get one prize from this event, the Crimson Cat's Eye. To get it, you had to collect every lore book in a game made by this dudek called Haunted Hill. The rebooted version of this event seems to not function properly since I can't collect any of the lore books, and some of the Brick Battle items are also a bit wonky. Gift Explosion 2007 is the last real event of 2007. To get the gifts, you needed to do simple tasks like send John Carmack a message and never get a ban of 3 days or more. It's nothing special, but I think it's pretty cool. Also, there's a reboot of this event on Roblox, but I don't understand what it's rebooting. The most interesting prizes from this gift explosion were the Wanwood Antlers, the Sparkle Time Fedora, and the Agonizingly Ugly Bucket of Doom. The competition for this year is pretty weak, but personally, I liked playing through Mike's Paintball Tournament the most, which is why I'll give it Event of the Year. Gift Explosion is a close second, but in my opinion it was a bit too basic to be Mike's Paintball. Surprisingly, the Halloween Treasure Hunt got the most votes, with 45.5% of the votes. The Domino Rally Contest and Gift Explosion got an equal amount of votes, and Mike's Paintball Tournament got just two votes. And that's every single year covered. Years 2006 and beyond don't, didn't have any events, so I don't have to cover them. Hooray! To be frank with you, the production of this video really has been an experience. The fact that I got to work with Zome and other Roblox event veterans is awesome. Well, that's the end of the video. It's been quite a journey in 2021, honestly. This year was probably on the worst side of the years of the years I've lived, especially compared to 2020. But I'm fine with that. To me, every year doesn't have to be perfect, because then a perfect year won't feel special anymore. Anyways, remember everyone, stay in school, don't do drugs, and have a happy new year with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next one.